We are talking to the coaches and founders of Rogue Lacrosse, um, and we've talked a lot to about their backgrounds and their pedigrees. Let's learn a little bit about more Rogue, more about Rogue itself. But for starters, if I'm a, a Southern California parent or player in the lacrosse community, um, what is it about Rogue that would attract me? You know, that, what's different about Rogue or what's best about Rogue? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, for parents and players, we're a combination of Los Angeles, Orange County, and San Diego. Uh, coaches and players who, who want to get to the next level. Um, our main goal for coaching for coaching Rogue is to have our players play at the next level collegiately um, and do so in a good experience. Um, having good experiences, knowing your coaches, having your coaches know you um, is very important with us. Uh, we want to we want to really have a relationship with our players. For parents, you know, we we are a professionally operated program. Um, we are non-biased. It doesn't matter if uh, if you're from Los Angeles. It doesn't matter if you're from Orange County or San Diego. Uh, the best players are playing, and the players' uh, skill set is is our focal point. Okay, let's talk a little bit about Salisbury because you know, you know among Division three schools, they're really the kingpin. And Johnny, maybe you're the right one to give us a quick <clears throat> synopsis of the success that Salisbury's had overall and then maybe tie together each of your guys careers how did you guys find each other either through Salisbury or after that the tradition of Salisbury and I, and I know there's other great lacrosse programs out there that have a very strong tradition um, I don't think there's been I mean I, I can't imagine a, a, a coach that has done more for the game um, in terms of the, re, the residual effect that that he has on his players um, you know there's there's hundreds of uh, hundreds and hundreds of coaches out there that played at Salisbury that are continuing to show their love for the game and continuing to grow the game through, you know, through markets all over the country. I think one thing that he does is he kind of allows for all of his players to hold themselves accountable and hold each other accountable. You know, it's not like we run a D1 schedule where we got 10 hour days of lacrosse. It's, you know, we practice 20, 30 times during the fall and everything else, all the workouts are on us. So. Just being able to have that accountability uh, and responsibility to understand our goal this year as a whole is to be the best team. Um, not the best team we can be, but to be the actual best team and win a national championship every single year. And like I mentioned earlier, I think that does wonders for all of us. You know, we, we come out of college and we're not looking to fit in. We're not looking to be mediocre. We're looking to be the best we can be at anything we do. So, and constantly achieve greater success with every step we take.